Hi guys again, it's Damien from the Brittle Box Candy Company. Uh, this video is going to to kind of help you figure out what it is that you may want to start selling online. If you are making candy or if you're making products, uh, foodstuffs, baked goods and such, and you want to kind of determine what is it that I could sell, because you may think to yourself, um, there's a million other people selling the same thing, how am I going to make any money? Um, never, never, never think anything of the sort. When I started uh, our business, um, candies, cake balls, truffles, chocolates, there are a million people that sell that stuff online. And um, there are plenty of competition out there. But the one thing to keep in mind is that the market is so big, it is enormous. Uh, just the snack, food, and candy industry in the U.S. is in the billions. I believe I had read an article that was between 30 to 40 billion dollars a year that Americans spend on um, candy and snacks alone, not even considering baked goods. Um, so if it's something that you enjoy doing, of course you need to honestly have fun doing it. It's something that you have to just really like to do. Um, if you're creative and you can come up with really cool flavors, um, there's a lot of flavor combinations that a lot of people aren't doing. There could be on Etsy anywhere from a hundred sellers to a couple thousand sellers that are selling cookies. But if you can come up with 12 variations, something unique um, that offers somebody something new and different, um, whatever it may be in, in making cookies, then you, you've sold a new product. Um, you, when, if you can come up with some ideas and, and you enjoy making candies um, of other kinds, hard candies, caramels, um, uh, gourmet uh, marshmallows, I've heard, is, a, is another um, niche product. Uh, handmade, I have looked into that myself. Handmade uh, marshmallows are a bit involved and such. Uh, there are some pastries and some candies and some confections that I do not touch. And I would not try to make them because it's too time consuming. Um, just as some advice, if you're able to find... Um, certain recipes or if you have recipes and it's a product or an item that you can make very quickly and flip it and turn it around and sell it um, without taking up a lot of your time I would say stick with something like that when it comes to selling online um, the thing about selling through the internet is that in many cases you may end up getting a hundred orders in a day if you're on several websites selling, you can get two or three hundred orders in a day. Um, and what it does is, 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 since your product is made to order, that's how we work, is that we don't carry anything in stock. We're not a pre-made company. Everything that we make is only made when someone buys it. And once someone buys it, then we have about a three-day window. Now, you can determine that yourself, um, how long of a time frame it takes you to make it pack it, ship it. Um, that does not include the shipping transit time. Uh, we let everybody know that it takes about three days for our, our products to be made once the uh, order has been placed. Um, and that gives you some time to fill it. Uh, sometimes we get very large orders where we're making over a thousand items for one wedding or a thousand items for one party or a ton of favors for a birthday party, anniversary, uh, corporate events. So what we try to do is, is to let the customer know in advance that it's not something that's going to be shipped out the same day. That's not how it works. Um, we, we make it only to order. So again, if you, if you can come up with some products or if you have a, an item that you're making to order, um, that you can do it quickly, uh, that there's not a 7 to 10 day waiting period for it, I would recommend it. Um, just because of the business model itself, you, you're obviously in the in, in business to make money and you want to put out as much of your product as a good of a quality um, as quantity as you can um, when it comes to brick and mortar bakeries the drawback to brick and mortar bakeries is the fact that you've got so much product that you've pre-made um, you have a store that customers are coming in and out of all day long and we had to, when we had our bakery, we had to have our shelves filled with stuff, freshly made every day. We did panini sandwiches, we did breads, we handmade gelato ice cream, we had over 40 types of cookies, pastries, 
um, and so on and on and on. So as we ran that business, it um, it taught us a lot about um, having to have a lot of product on hands <clears throat> on hand to to sell to customers. And with it being a freshly made product, we didn't have a lot of preservatives. Actually, we had no preservatives in any of the stuff we made. So you only have about a one to two day window, and then you had to get rid of it. Um, so the cool thing about having an online business that does uh, the type of stuff we do now is um, that you place an order, uh, the customer purchases it, um, you can get your ingredients or you've got your ingredients, put it together, you give yourself a three day window, you give yourself a couple days or so to, to make it, um, and then ship it fresh. Um, and we use, uh, right now we use uh, the priority mail service which is a two-day service. So all of our products arrive freshly made uh, within that um, available window uh, before they go bad. So um, <clears throat> you want to just, again, try to find stuff that doesn't take you two hours to make or three hours to make. Uh, but of course, you want to take your time doing it. You want to sell your customers a good quality product. Um, so if your candies or cookies are in your neighborhood or in your local city or area, everybody loves and raves about them. You might want to think about selling them online. Um, the, the few places that I would recommend, first and foremost, is Etsy. Uh, Etsy.com is, is really a community of sellers and buyers that prefer, and uh, you actually have to make your products uh, by hand. Um, so you, there's, a, there's a market, there's a niche market there uh, where the customers can go there and find um, dozens and dozens or even hundreds of, of items that are edible that are made by hand. If you're into making jams and jellies, preserves, if you're into making pickles and you've got some barbecue spices or rubs or anything that's that's made in small batches, Etsy.com is the, definitely the place to start, uh, the place to be. Uh, we recently opened a store on Amazon and it's been phenomenal. Amazon is a great place for pretty much everything. Um, there are a few different uh, categories on Amazon that you need to get prior approval for and it's not a bunch of hoops to jump through it's it's actually went pretty smooth with with us um, you have to register yourself and then um, of course being a commercial kitchen we just show the necessary documentation and uh, information that they requested um, and then you're good to go um, commercial bakeries your candy manufacturer candy company uh, if you've got a niche product or even a non niche product that everybody knows about um, Amazon's a great place to, to sell as well. Um, the other sites that are good are Bonanza. Uh, Bonanza.com is a similar to like an eBay, Etsy type of site. Um, I personally didn't see a lot of traffic um, on our store. We did good, but not great. So uh, our store on Bonanza uh, was okay. Um, it's, a, it's a good place to sell a lot of products um, that are non-handmade. It's similar to like an eBay type of setting. Uh, when we started our online presence, uh, we actually started with an eBay store. We started with just a few ideas, a few items, and some, a few cookies and some, some candies. And uh, we sold some. Um, it took about, uh, about a year, maybe a little less than a year. And we began to sell in really, really good numbers. Uh, we had that store for about five or six years. Um, and it actually got to the point where we, we initiated our own website and started selling our own stuff uh, through our own store site, um, which has been even better. Um, the traffic has been fantastic. Uh, opportunities come up like crazy. Uh, we, we do our own SEO, uh, search engine optimization, uh, all of our marketing and um, our social media sites. Um, I set all of that up myself. Uh, you have to understand that if you're going to have an online business, you have to put the time in to make it really work. This is not a, I'm going to post some stuff and tomorrow I'm going to open up my uh, uh, sold items and there's going to be $20,000 sitting there. That's not even close to how it works. There's a lot of great videos and resources on YouTube where there's a lot of people who will tell you the real deal. Um, my videos are going to tell you straight up how, it, how, it, how long it took um, how we did it, and the reality of selling online. It, it takes a lot of work and a lot of time and effort. Um, I get up at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, and I don't go to bed till about 11 to midnight at night. And I have a break for about an hour, hour and a half for lunch. 
Um, but this is what I, I like to do. This is what we do now as a family. Um, and we, we are passionate about what we do and we have, we really enjoy it. Um, there's a lot of effort. I don't say there's any work because I used to work in retail and work is something that you do when you're not doing what you love to do. So we get up every day and we enjoy doing what we do. We can take a day off when we want to take a day off. Um, and we can go places when we want to go. But you got to understand that uh, you need to put the work in to make a, a business online grow and to create a brand for your business and a name. It takes time, but it's not something that's impossible. Um, and yes, you can make um, uh, thousands and thousands of dollars a day, yes, a day, um, doing a business online. As you grow your business, you need to create other streams of revenue and also other streams of uh, customers coming to and kind of streaming to your sites to purchase your products. So that's where social media comes into play. Facebook, um, like I mentioned before in one of my other videos, uh, the Facebooks of the world, uh, the Pinterest, Tumblr um, is a great blogging site that you can also get exposure. It makes no difference where you post your stuff online as long as you continue to constantly update and add new stuff and uh, make sure that that traffic is coming to you and it's not some random posting of pictures where people are repinning them or liking them on Facebook. All of that is good, but that doesn't pay your bills and that doesn't make you money. What makes you money is attracting the customers from those sites to come to your store, to see your stuff, to like it, and buy it. Um, Facebook has some great features for business owners where you can create business, actual interactive business sites to sell products through Facebook. That is a great resource. Pinterest is great as well. We do a lot of pinning of our products from our websites uh, directly onto Pinterest uh, with the price points there so the customer can literally see them um, and I know that Tumblr also Tumblr has some um, buttons that are associated with like Etsy stores the Tumblr button where you can post something to Tumblr uh, via Etsy you can post something something through Tumblr um, through any pretty much any site that you create yourself we created a site through Weebly uh, Weebly.com and um, they have all of those social media buttons built in it's something that you don't have to add, which is a great convenience. So if you're looking to make money online and you want to grow a business and start a business and not some random flyby thing that you're going to make money overnight, um, the videos that I'll be posting, I'll offer as many resources as I can. Again, we're posting and, and creating a book soon. We'll have an ebook posted up. Um, we'll try to get it up through Amazon and a few other outlets to uh, kind of consolidate all of this information that I'm giving you on these videos onto a book. Um, and it'll be very reasonably price pointed. Uh, the price on it will be super, super inexpensive. But it'll be a good resource for um, anyone starting. If you're a stay-at-home mom, um, if even if you're a stay-at-home dad, and you're looking to start a business and you love food, or if you love candy making or confectionaries, or if you love uh, baked goods, um, my resources will definitely give you some, some tips and I'll be as honest and realistic as I can with you about making money online. And it is absolutely doable and you can support a family and you can make a very good living doing it. But you also need to, before any of this happens, you need to think in yourself and you need to know up here that bottom line, you're going to make it work. And whatever it is that you need to jump through, whatever hoops you need to jump through or things you need to get over, you're going to get over them. Uh, you got to be a pretty self-motivated person and you need to want to do it. Otherwise, don't even bother. Don't waste your time. Um, yeah, just don't even start it. <laughs> so anyways, enjoy, uh, enjoy the next few videos I'll post. And if there's any questions that you have, just ask me down there. Uh, thank you guys.